Martin Odor, a spectacular building. It is the library of KCA University. Today, we're going to venture into the details of this masterpiece. We are going to look at the benefits, the challenges, and the uniqueness of this spectacular masterpiece. Follow me through this feature, step by step. Martin Odor Library. This is a spectacular building in KC University where students come to study, in other words, save their, <laughs> their courses. So today we're going to have a look at how this spectacular building has made impact on KC University students. Follow me through this feature as we even look into the interviews on how students have seen this building save their courses. Let's take some of the insights from the KCA students. Once again guys, it's me again, Seti Emmanuel. I'm here and I'm going to interview a student who's just chilling around the Martin uh, Library in KCA University. I'm just going to ask him what are some of the benefits and uh, all around uh, things that are going to be issued concerning the Martin Odor Library. Karibu uh, sana. First, uh, you can introduce yourself and tell us what you perceive. So, I'm um, Mark Anton. Yeah. And uh, I'm a student of journalism with the Digital Media Yeah. Yes. So, Mark, yes. uh, what are some of the benefits uh, of uh, such a spectacular structure in case you invest there? And so, to you as a student. So, so, basically, I believe that when you have a library, it's good. Yes, yeah. Martin Odor is a library. Mm -hmm. Uh, you get to find the space to practice uh, your knowledge skills. You know, you have to have that space when, where you can read, read, and also you can come back and reflect on the things you've learned. Because in universities, there are always festivals going on, drama stuff, people doing their own things, sports. Yeah. It's just a school system. So you see, when you are in a chill zone, maybe or somewhere outside, it's a place where people chill, people are relaxed, right? You want to live in peace. Yeah. But in the library, you know. The library is a place where it's quiet, yeah. peaceful, and you mentioned spectacular. Yeah. And you want to go to the building. Why? This building, you know, it, it looks like a building in Boston. So, yeah. so, yes. so this building has really aided in uh, our video shoots as journalism students, video shoots and photography. Because most of the projects we do, we come and do them here, yeah. in this spectacular, spectacular building. I think there is none like this in my room. Okay, on to my second question. This is a uh, perspective or a theory that uh, in a university, it's not like a high school, where students are, are uh, you know, at a progressive stage, reading, studying. Yes. So can you explain to us, is it uh, the same in a high school or uh, this uh, spectacular building is also always full uh, during examination period? Oh, so you know in campus people don't just read for the sake. Yeah. Campus is a place where you want to major on one thing. But there is a social aspect of it. Because me, I believe you shouldn't be just reading. Also, you should be working on your skills somewhere else because whatever you are reading about may it fail you. Yeah. It happens. This, this is a third world country. This is Kenya. Yeah. So, yes, this library is always full of time. Time exams. Most of the time time exams is when you get this library is full. Why? Uh, students know where they are supposed to be at right time. You see, when you have exams, come and read. But don't just come here every day and read. Yes. Your social life will be done with. Uh, some uh, onto the last night, uh, as we wind up, what are some of the challenges that we are facing uh, in this uh, library and also what's something that uh, you have seen that has really impressed you? And finally, what, uh, what take can you tell the university to improve on uh, such a structure to, to better your you know, study? So basically, I think the challenges that I've, I've experienced myself and my friend were the operating hours. You know, the operating hours are really 
really fun because sometimes you come here on Thursdays, you'll be told they're doing maintenance or something or cleaning. Yeah. But when you come another Thursday, it's open again. Yeah. So you wonder, yeah. this maintenance, it's, yeah, it's literally in our school rules that it's supposed to happen on Thursday or something like that. But uh, sometimes it's, ho- it's open. So we are confused. We need to not to come here on Thursday because they're doing maintenance. Maybe you want to read. Maybe that's the only day you have. Because for us general students, we always have so many projects that we don't even have time to come and sit in the library. Another challenge is, for us general students, there are not enough books that we can use yeah, in this library. Yeah. There's many books here like for accounting and stuff, because you know KCA is a school of accounting. Yeah. yeah. General is a new course that just came in. But uh, I believe uh, it should be improved on. And also something I think university should check on yeah. is uh, the timing. Because there are times when we are being told to get out of the library and sit with just five of them. Surely we should really do one thing five. Yes. Yeah, that has been Mark Anthony, a student at KC University, and uh, he's really put it in a simple and uh, well precise manner. Okay, once again, I'm here with another esteemed student from KC University. She's just from the library. She's going to take us through what she has been doing in the library <laughs> and all the things that are uh, entailed in Martin O'Groves Library. So, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank uh, you. Can introduce yourself. My name is Shilam Kabane. Yeah. I'm a student in KC University, 2.1 being journalism and digital media, bachelor's. So I've spent the day trying to gain more knowledge about what I'm doing and the stuff that I'm studying. You get uh, most of the time the lecturers are giving us like 70 to 80 percent, and we are supposed to gather the others for ourselves. So what, what, is, uh, what are some of the challenges that you've faced uh, while uh, being in this uh, you know, library? N- not uh, right now, but uh, the period of time you've been in this school. Uh, the library at times tends to be full. The, the spaces, especially come up academic exams, the, it, it is full. It's either you wake up early and come and secure your space, or you find somewhere else to read from. And then not all the time they give out books. You don't feel like you then, uh, At times they'll give you, they're very generous at times they're telling you that you have a limited edition of that particular book. So you'll have to read and take it back. Yeah. Okay, uh, 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 on to not only the challenges, what are what uh, one, one thing that you like you like about this? Uh... The one thing that I really loved about the library is that you have an e library section. It's located on the first floor east street of the library. That gives me more time and uh, gives me more opportunities to interact with online material when I'm in the library. So it's not every time that I love to use my bundles, use my phone to read because it's also hectic. Yeah. So when you're in the e-library, it's always connected to the internet and the internet in the library is very fast. So that is it's a good thing about the library. So away from uh, the library stuff, uh, as we end up, do you believe in the quota uh, education keeps success? The key to success. I believe yeah. that smart working is the key to success. Smart working. Yes. Not education. You can be educated, an educated fool. Yeah. <laughs> you you have education up to PhD, masters, and all that, but you're still foolish. You're not successful. And someone that does not have this education is working smart, not hard. Smart in their lives and is very successful. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Okay, guys, that has been me, and that's the period we've been in KC University's Martin O'Doll Library. Till next time, adios. Thank you.